Hi, Dream Movement family. I'm Paige, and I'm going to be doing our midweek check-in for tonight. I want to talk to y'all about the topic of trust. This is something that um, God has been speaking to me a lot about in my personal life, and I feel like he's given me a lot to share with y'all. Um, I think one of the difficult things about trust is that it's a very abstract idea, a very abstract word. When someone says to trust you, you don't necessarily have a physical response that you can do or a physical action that you can do to show that you trust. It's something that is really internally and in our hearts, in our mind, in our spirit. And I think that's what makes it difficult sometimes. And it's the same with trust in God. Oftentimes our earthly circumstances and the things that we have been through can cause us to have a skewed perspective of trust or even to have difficulty trusting others. And ultimately, if we have a relationship with anyone or with God, trust is required in a relationship to have a um healthy relationship. And so I believe um, that God deeply desires us to trust him and to learn how to trust him and is so patient and so gracious with us as we learn what that looks like. And that's really the space that God has been speaking to me in. He has me on a journey of learning how to trust him deeper and deeper. And one of the things that he's shown me that I hope encourages y'all, it's given um, me just a deep, deep peace in my spirit. And so I hope it does the same for y'all. He showed me a body of water and I was standing at the front of the body of water. And as I began to walk out into the water, as you can imagine, it got deeper and deeper and deeper. And at a certain point in this vision, um, I, my feet could no longer touch the bottom and my head was just above the water. And when I think of this, I automatically think of fear. I feel scared. And what he showed me was that actually in that place where my feet can no longer touch the bottom, my head is just above the water, is where I actually find a fullness of joy a fullness of him, just a fullness of life, and also a deep intimacy with him. And so trust in God and trust with anyone is really an opportunity to be more intimate with them and to get to know them deeper. And so what God said to me was that this place of deep trust was really a place of deep intimacy with him where I would get to know him deeper, where I would get to experience him deeper, which was ultimately something I deeply desired. And so I want to encourage you with that, that whatever you are trying to trust God in, that if you and I would just throw our hands in the air and surrender and continue to walk forward and rest in that place of surrender, that ultimately in that place, we will find a fullness of life, a fullness of his presence, a fullness of joy, and a deeper intimacy with him that will fill those places and push out fear and anxiety in any of that when we are just so consumed and rooted in him. And so that is actually what I want to pray for us tonight. I believe that there will be people that are listening that are in a place of having to trust God. And maybe you're wrestling with something. And so what I want to pray for us tonight is that we would posture ourselves with open hands to heaven and open hands to God and allow him to do what he wants to do his way. And that through that, we would find just a fullness of his presence, a fullness of peace, and just a fullness that you can't get in anything else. And so that's what I'm going to pray for us tonight. God, I just pray um, that everyone that is listening would just physically open their hands to you, God, in just a posture of surrender. And in this place where we have our hands open to you, God, our posture says, not our will, but your will be done. And so I pray right now, God, that every single person listening would just, um, just position themselves in that place 
and posture their heart in that place, God, and that you would begin to speak to them so specifically to the things that they need to surrender to you, the things that they need to trust you in, God. And as they do this, Lord, that there would just be this this release and that this weight would just fall off of them that they've been carrying, God, and that there would just be this supernatural release, Lord, and this breaking, God, and that they would release and give it all to you, God. And that once they do that, Lord, that in exchange, God, I just pray and I know that they will experience, God, just your fullness of presence, Lord your fullness of joy, God, and that all of these things will just begin to overflow out of them, God, like a wellspring, Lord. As they surrender to you, God, they will experience just a fullness and overflowing like they never have before that comes from you, God. I pray this for everybody listening, for anyone that will listen later, Lord, that we would just posture ourselves in a place of surrender so that you can move and do what you want to do, God, because we know that your way is far better than our way, God. And so I pray right now that we would make room for what you want to do, God, and that your will would have room to move, God, and that we would just open our hands. Some of us might have clenched hands right now, God, and that we would just open our hands and release the things that need to be released and open our hands to receive the things that you desire to give us, God, the great and grand blessings that you have waiting for each of us, God. I just pray that we would release the things that we are holding on to, God, and just open our hands to receive the blessings and the things that are better than we could have ever imagined or better than even what we want, God. Just pray all of this in your name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I hope that this has left you with just a feeling of peace and a feeling of fullness and that um, just a reminder that surrender and trust in God is a process and I have to go to God many times a week to reposition myself back in a place of surrender and back in a place of trust. And so take heart in knowing that this isn't a one-time thing, that this is a daily choice to live in surrender and trust. And and so I pray and I hope that for you, that when you feel yourself wanting to cling tight to the things that you know um, or to the things around you that you would open your hands and give it back to God and just reposition yourself um, just in a place of trust and surrender because it is a journey that we are on and um, God so deeply desires to just meet his children in that place, in that place where they're open-handed and um, just ready to receive. So there's so much grace that is flowing over all of those places that we struggle to surrender, that we struggle to trust in. Um, I just feel like someone needs to hear that. There's so much grace for those areas that are hard um, and that you struggle to give to God. And his grace is sufficient in your weakness and he will meet you exactly where you're at. So I love y'all and I hope y'all have a great night. Bye.